tuning in to the root of all real. This is Mario here, and I'm here with my boy Javi. Yeah, what's up, y'all? Ralph here. What's going on? Uh, I haven't been on a podcast in a long time, so <laughs> I'm a little rusty here, but uh, I appreciate you guys being here on the episode with me. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate uh, you coming here. Yeah, and uh, so what I want to talk about today on this episode is uh, opening up your own small business. Uh, what does it take to start your business? Like, what do you got to uh, think of in terms of inventory, pricing, mm-hmm. uh, organizing everything, all this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, um, I know these two fellas have a lot of experience in opening up their own side hustle business. Yeah. And um, Ralph here, he used to have his own shop. Yeah. And um, well, well, it was not a, it was a trailer, but you know, like a, well, it was basically like a little shop. Yeah. yeah but um, <laughs> that that's really awesome that you know you have that experience. So if if you decide to do it again, you already have a starting point, like what to go back on and think like, oh, I, this is what I need to do. This is what I need to handle today and all this. But. Um, what was that experience like for you, Ralph? Was it a good learning experience for you? Yeah, actually, actually, it was. Um, it was actually pretty cool. The only reason I stopped it is because I needed a, some more cash and I sold my trailer. But at that time, I had a whole bunch of different uh, items that I had to sell. I had movies. I had posters, uh, collectible toys. I had a, I had a whole bunch of different stuff because you know, when you have customers, they all don't like the same thing. They like different yeah, variety of stuff. Bro. You know. Um, and I would just like go online and see how much they were going for, and you know, that's what pricing. I would do my pricing. Yeah, so that's cool, man. I mean, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of people who uh, sell online as well. Mm-hmm. Would you ever think about maybe in the future opening up a shop online and maybe doing it that way? Or? Uh, maybe, maybe, mm-hmm. maybe, yeah, yeah. Maybe. But I would like to uh, do it again, actually, open up another shop again, and you know, I don't blame you, man, because yeah. there's a lot of opportunities out here man and sometimes just good to jump on it and yeah what, mm-hmm. what do you think about that javi uh when i looked at it you know uh now that i think about it man i, I watch a show on youtube called pawn stars okay. not not porn stars, porn <laughs> stars. Uh, i don't know if you heard of it seen it man like yeah. people bring in uh historical items figurines chucky dolls yeah stuff that rob likes too and yeah um, they make money off of it they're like they, they bring in the expert hey i think this is worth five thousand dollars i think this is worth so i think that i would fit right in it's stuff that i like too you know what i mean so yeah, it's yeah. It's yeah. type of environment yeah. <laughs> yeah. i think people's always there's always going to be business for uh for buying man like selling merchandise and retail man like people are buying different kinds of stuff so yeah. i think it's worth it man. i think it's worth it for sure. yeah Oh yeah, man. Um, I know you have uh, experience with selling T-shirts, oh, yeah. the T-shirt business, right? For all the you, all you guys that know me, man, I like designing, man. So uh, for a while, you know, I was uh, invested in uh, deep press T-shirt printing and all of that, man. Before I found out about the screen printing and uh, direct to garment printing, but uh, when I started, man, I definitely. Uh, I invested at least two thousand dollars, man, and I did a DBA, and I did I did a doing business as, and then I had the name of my company, which was I Am Hobby at the time, and I had my logo on the back of each shirt, and it was fun, man. It was fun. It just I lost uh, I lost motivation because I would take my stuff to to the local uh, flea markets, and I would. Uh, you know, Facebook really helped me out because they were free, free advertisement. You didn't have yeah. to pay to, to marketing because marketing is a job, man. Like, yeah. you know, all of that, man. So, uh, I had a, uh, you know, it was good, man. It was good. I just, uh, it, just it doesn't mean that I don't love it. I just uh, gave up motivation because when I took it to the clean market, for example, people wanted it for too cheap. But yeah. it cost it costs to make the shirts man it's yeah. Not, yeah. It, it doesn't come cheap and then a lot of people like even when i had my guests you know come to my shop and they're like oh can you i would always try to work out with people because a lot of people are like oh, i don't want to pay too much too much money yeah. well i'm not i'm not there to get your price i'm trying to do my price if you don't like my price you know 
are more welcome to you know go somewhere else. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. They try to lowball you, and I, I don't like that. That's the only issue about they would always try to lowball you on certain items that you know. Hey, you know. Yeah, I think uh, if you know the <clears throat> value of your product, yeah, that that uh, that alone should be what what's set in stone. Mm-hmm. And, you know, not try to cheap out like because some customers want to try to lower the price and haggle you or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, as long as yeah, because they don't understand what it takes to make it, man. You gotta yeah. mm-hmm. when you already have a figurine, for example, you can't love bomb me either because some of this stuff is valuable. Man. I had a uh, the last time I had a um, uh, I'm trying to remember a uh, Chong, a teaching Chong, mm-hmm. an action figure, and wow. some of them were selling for about a hundred. You know, three hundred, two hundred, and then I said my my price was at I think one fifty, and uh, and some guy bought it for me for about one fifty. Wow. Well, I gave it to him since you know he really wanted us. Hey, man, I tell you what, I'll take five dollars off. You know what I mean? And he was happy about that, and you know he got it. So wow. that's pretty cool. Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So tell me a little bit about you, Mario. Tell me what you've been up to, man. I know yeah. you, you and your girl been up to something. <laughs> we just don't know, but everybody yeah. kills you. Right? Yeah, man. For me, I've been. Uh, going back and forth on ideas with Jay Liz for some time about what what can we do like what type of business can we get into mm-hmm. and uh, this business is uh, gonna be around candy with chamoy which is uh, a candy that a lot of it's it's a candy that's really in the Mexican culture to be honest and it's uh, I kind of compare that more to like a liquid type of Lucas. Yeah, yeah. It, people it, like that, Lucas turn it right. into liquid, and it tastes almost the same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's not just gonna be, you know, just a uh, chamoy. We have our own little recipe. Like we put uh, our own ingredients okay. add to it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So we we didn't just you know throw mm-hmm. throw a few things together yeah. and that's it. Yeah. We put a lot of thought and effort yeah. into it. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have our own little special recipe. Uh, we're gonna mix it with either uh, gummy bears, Skittles, okay. uh, all kinds of candy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, I had to do a lot of research into yeah. this. Like, what do people like? Like, what do people what uh, don't like? Yeah, what is current? Like, so, uh, I was gonna ask you. So, have you sold anything late? Have you sold anything as of right now? No, nah, this, this is still uh, in the process. This is still in the process of getting okay. it uh, so organized. Yeah. Already. Okay, okay. Like, I'm already. Almost uh, done with the website. It's two thirds of the way done. Okay. So I just need to take some pictures of the products, put them on the website. That way people will know uh, this is what they're getting. Yeah. And uh, pay for the hosting and stuff like that. Uh, that's pretty much it. And I'll be able to keep, uh, give the website out and you can go on there and order no matter uh, where you're from in, inside the U.S. Yeah. And. Uh, but it, it's a process, man. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I, like Javi said, man, it's uh, you gotta put down your money and uh, invest in the in- inventory, yeah. mm-hmm. your products, website, marketing, uh, shipping. Uh, yeah. Because I'm gonna I'm be shipping this stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I had to figure out the, the rates and all of that yeah. stuff. Yeah. And we're gonna have like people <clears throat> even come in and pick up the orders. Yeah. So I, I also had to uh, like research. How can they pay uh, in person in case they don't got cash? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I got a little uh, square. It's called that. Uh, from the one square. That you connect to your phone. Yeah, you connect yeah. to your phone and you I just swipe. Have one of those <laughs> okay. Yeah. People just swipe and yeah. that's it. You and get your little. On, that's on like your phone, I think. Yeah. That's pretty cool, yeah. man. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. And uh, th- there's so many other things too that I'd like to get into, but first, the main thing is just to get the business off mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. go from there. But um, I don't, I don't think you can lose with candy, man. Especially chamoy, man. Cause you think about it, Mario. In my opinion, people are drinking uh, raspas, which is snow cones, with chamoy, man. Like every chamoy goes real with margaritas and this and that, man. So yeah. you think about chamoy, man. They, that's that's big business, in my opinion. Man. Mm. Everything going into that. Man. There, there was also this other product we want to make the. Uh, the dip mm-hmm. for the beer yeah. so where you put it around the put rim, the rim. Yeah. Yeah. we can also sell that yeah, yeah. yeah so can. people can buy it uh, whenever they want to drink it yeah. with their beer just yeah. put it around the rim. Yeah, that's business man yeah, yeah. that's growing and um, I think it's 
uh, something that you have to get used to, like yeah. owning your own business. And uh, you learn so much that it helps you maybe when you want to start another business. Yeah. So you can help others because yeah. others are gonna ask you, can you teach me the process of this and this yeah. and that, man? And you go from there, so. Yeah, man. I think it's a, it's definitely a good experience in life because you, when when people always think about uh, paycheck to paycheck or this and that, that's that's not what life is about. You also we have to use our talents in order to grow in life. Right? Yeah, so talents get you farther than you think, man. So mm-hmm. I'm definitely applaud you, man, for at least uh, getting into that type of work. Um, you know, yeah, appreciate it, man. Yeah. It's fun. It really is. Yeah. I thank you. Uh, didn't you also build uh, relationships with your customers if if you have customers who are like uh, die hard uh, yeah. they're into your product yeah they keep coming back to you and, and you respect that you know mm-hmm. yeah. you get lifelong customers sometimes and so you know they say oh this is just my regular no uh, you're gonna say this is my superior customer like yeah. he's been giving me business and he's been happy when he goes back home man so you don't yeah. always say my regular my regular no, my superior <coughs> like uh you appreciate the fans, man. You appreciate your customers. Cause they take care of you while you take care of them, man. So, yep. yeah, that's good business, man. Not only that, they, they refer other oh, people oh, yeah. to your business. Because they know you'll take care of them. So, yeah. mind the world. Uh, Get you know, more business. Yeah. yeah. yeah man. Mm-hmm. That's how it goes. Did you ever think about getting into uh, anything having to do with uh, film? Like a filming type of uh, little side hustle. I I I was I also thought about that too, man. Yeah, yeah I always wanted to try that too. I yeah. think that that's a that's a pretty good field to get into. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, if you look on YouTube, there's a lot of small uh, budget creators. That that you know, what's funny is that me and Marco are actually trying to shoot a uh, short film. Oh. I actually have a short film that I already kind of wrote already. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't want to tell you the details to nah. it, but uh, my brother's gonna help me out with it. You know. Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna direct it. I'm gonna try to direct it. He's gonna show me some of the ropes, and uh, you know we're gonna work. We're gonna work together on this project. Wow, so. that's nice, mm-hmm. man. So I hopefully, you. oh yeah, hopefully it'll be, it'll be here pretty soon. So wow, yeah. that's cool, bro. <clears throat> I look forward to yeah uh, <laughs> uh, looking at some behind the scenes stuff, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. cool, man. Um, one thing I know about uh, starting your small business is you got to get your name out there. You gotta like market your your brand mm-hmm. or whatever. Uh, what I've done is I've I've opened uh, three social media uh, channels like yeah. for YouTube, mm-hmm. for TikTok, Instagram. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do Facebook for yeah. the candy business, but uh, the idea is just to get your name out there. I think like Inst- I think Instagram actually uh, it's that's the way to go, I man. That's the way to do it right now. Everybody's on Instagram. Everybody who promotes. You know, people who clean houses, people who, uh, you know, who do haircuts, you know what I mean? So that's yeah. how they get their business out there. So Yeah, that's that's something that I've been uh, trying to work on. And do you have a name for your... Uh, for the one, uh, for most of them, it's J and M Chamoy Treats. That's okay, okay. Joanna and Mario Chamoy Treats. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we already have that set up on TikTok, uh, Instagram, and YouTube. So if y'all guys want to look for it, yeah, just mm-hmm. search J and M Chamoy Treats, and you'll okay. find this on there. It's badass. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably gonna embed my whole paycheck on it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. 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 <laughs> Man, but uh, it's a it's a big learning uh, curve, uh, getting used to everything, like trying to figure out inventory and all of this, and mm. how much I'm gonna need. Uh, in the future and mm. things like that oh and the printing i gotta print out labels um i found out that there's a printer that doesn't use ink mm-hmm. so you can actually just print the shipping label oh, yeah. and your logo and it doesn't use no color it's just a thermal printer oh, so wow. it uses heat on a special type of paper mm-hmm. that uh it makes your design on there because the the printer uses heat that's how it creates the logo and the shipping label. Oh, crazy. Okay. So you ain't got to worry about buying ink and yeah, changing yeah, the ink and the ink. paper. Yeah. yeah. Um, the paper you can buy in big ass packs. Yeah. So uh, that covers all the packaging and shipping stuff. Yeah, because the ink is expensive, Mario. I remember when I bought my printer for the for the heat press for the for printing on the shirts, man. It was uh, 
a big thing of ink, man. It was supposed to last for 30 days. I want to say it was about 150 for one one color uh, box. Oh yeah. It was, it was expensive, man. That's not even including the black ink, man. It was at least $300 every month, man. Damn. It was like it's a big chunk of money, man. But I mean, if you really, if you really invest it, I think it's worth it, man, because you're putting your talents out there, like Mario said, you, mm-hmm. you're putting your business out there, and you're getting known, man, and that's the only way to go. Yeah. That's the only way to go, man. You let people know. That's the what it is, man. People be happy about what you've done, man. You know, you grow, you grow and you, you never know, man. You, know, you never know unless you try it. And once you try it, you're in there, man. You're in there, man. You're in there, you're in there for the long haul. Oh, yeah, bro. Do you ever think about getting back into another type of business, maybe in the future? Like, sometime? I love designing, Mario. I'm not going to lie to you, man. I want to get into uh, creating logos, man. Just making logos for people, man. And just selling them out there. Because logos, everybody wants to go into business at some point or another. I feel like you never lose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you, you never boss. lose making logo, man. Because Mario, I mean, Rob might want one for his you know his future shop or whatever man like and everybody's gonna want a logo man taco stands and this and that so yeah man i definitely want to get back into it but not not just logos maybe stretching a little bit and making into shirts and uh are you, are you gonna are stuff. you gonna try to do your shirts again yeah i think i i think i need to get back into it man i don't think i'm gonna invest in another heat press because when i did a lot of research over the years i feel like Screen printing is the way to go when you want to mass produce your stuff. And when it comes to direct to garment, it, they charge like $25 a shirt mm-hmm. for you. But I think that's only for personal use. Like if you do want one or two shirts for you and your girl, yeah, you, yeah. you know. And then you can go with screen printing for for mass production, man. So yeah, man, definitely, uh, definitely get into logo creation. Man. Uh-huh. Yeah. And that's a that's a big uh, field too because yeah. there's so many opportunities in that area so many people like rappers even they they want logos or cd yeah. covers cd covers yeah. 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 all kinds of materials yeah. man which uh, is like graphic design the same thing and even, even websites yeah. they, they'll they'll get oh, man, yeah. if you create logos for websites yeah. even that man yeah you can go in so many directions with that so seriously i think i need to get in there. uh I just need to le- learn a little bit more about illust- uh, Adobe Illustrator. Yeah. Give you find the ropes a little bit more on, uh, you know, a final print, man. And uh, once I hit that off, man, I think I'm ready to go, man. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like Illustrator, man. I, I'm still, I'm still drawing on there. Yeah. Um, One out of ten. What do you feel co- comfortable? What are you leaning at? Are you at least a five as far as confidence, as, as far as working with it? Uh, I would say I'm, I'm at the point where I, I feel like I'm good, like at a seven, oh, mm. that's seven good. on Illustrator. Um, I, I've made designs on Instagram. I have them on my uh, Instagram page, and I uh, I get you know people messaging me, complimenting the, the stuff I put up, and asking me when am I gonna do more and stuff like that. <laughs> so do you, do you use a mouse or you use a tablet? What do you? Nah, use? In, in the beginning I did use a mouse, and that was that yeah. was. It's that was uh, a lot of work. Yeah. My, my wrist is fucking hurting. By the time I was done with the fucking drawings, <laughs> so so after that, uh, the good thing is my brother-in-law Juanito. If you're watching this, shout out, bro. Uh, yeah, my brother-in-law he gave me a tablet where I can just use a little pen pencil uh, and use it to draw on the tablet, and it was. Uh, display on the monitor. Do you recommend it, made, it one? I recommend yeah. it. It makes your life a lot easier. I'm not to look for one, man. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, because uh, drawing becomes so much, uh, it just flows yeah. naturally yeah. once you have a little pencil. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, they even have that for iPads for the, oh, the, okay. that, that pencil yeah, that they yeah. sell out of the pencil. I got the Apple pencil now. It's the first generation. There's some I've, used it, I've used it before. I like the. Uh, I like there's an app that I use and uh, it's not for PC but it's for the, uh, the Apple itself but uh, it's it's cool man but I want to give me a uh, one of those man but I mean the one I have is okay it's okay yeah. mm. that's cool guys mm. um, there's so much other stuff I'd love to talk about but uh, we are running on the time limit here and uh, you, 
guys. Uh, I really appreciate you guys coming on the episode here with me today. Yeah. Uh, please uh, go follow my boys here, Out the Blue, uh, Gray in the Gray Room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Please go follow and subscribe to these guys' channels. They really have uh, some badass content. Uh, follow the Root of All Real. Leave your comments, uh, any suggestions, whatever you guys want to uh, see in the future, let us know. You guys have any final words? Just wanted to close it out, Mario. I wanted to give a shout out to everybody watching on uh, the episode in the future. And uh, y'all follow this boy, Mario, man. Well, I know this boy uh, follows through with something, he comes through with <coughs> it, man. So I feel like it's going to be a good thing. Yeah. So I'm, I'm congratulating you, and y'all follow that boy, uh, Chamoy Page, man. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, guys, I was going to say. Um, if you guys have any comments about trying to do your own business, what y'all what are y'all trying to do? You know, let us know in the comments in Mario's episode here and just you know. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. Much love to everyone. Peace. All right. Peace. Peace.